All right, YouTube, what is happening? We got a new video today on the new product from Mantis. This is the Blackbeard X. I reviewed the original Blackbeard on the channel, which I happen to have right here. And this is the original um, Blackbeard X with the bolt is actually in one of my ARs because I use it for dry fire all the time. So this was the original one. It had um, a 20 round mag kind of um, form factor. You can plug it in. You can charge it with a USB um, uh, micro USB plug. You put the bolt in your bolt carrier, take out your bolt carrier group, put it in your upper and you're good to go. Right. Works really well. Probably it is the best dry fire for AR 15s period. Cause it resets the trigger. It's awesome. So I have a whole full video on it. What I wanted to cover today is more is about the differences between the new one and the old one. So first of all, form factor, you see these like, side by side, you can tell this is more like an AR mag. It's a 30 round size mag versus a 20 round size mag that is the difference same uh the bolt is exactly the same they are interchangeable so if you already have a blackbeard i don't know if mantis is going to sell this mag by itself so you can have two i think maybe you can do that i'm, I'm not 100 sure on that but the big the big big difference is obviously the form factor but the the, the this is built in so the x10 uh used to be able to have to put this it's how to put this on the rail of your rifle right like on the top or bottom rail. And the problem with that, it wasn't always calibrating correctly because of the location of it. Now they've actually moved that and integrated that into the magazine. So you actually have the X, uh, Mantis X10 inside the mag. You just hold this down, you can see how light up pairs, and you pair that with your app on your phone. And then you're not only gonna get the dry fire reset of the trigger, you're also going to get the, um, feedback from when you're doing like target transitions, your trigger pulls, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna get that feedback from the Mantis X in the app while you're dry firing. So if you use, and you're gonna use the Laser Academy as well, you can you know get both feedbacks from uh, the Mantis X, which is pretty cool. It's also cool that they're interchangeable, so you can just, well, let's actually just go over what's in the box real quick and I'll show you. So they sent this to me for review, it's full disclosure on that. Um, but I'm a huge fan, so, you know, I'm not going to talk negatively about it because there's nothing negative to say. Uh, it just comes in the box or this little thing with this and this pretty simple. The light's kind of flashing. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? Um, and then the instruction manual on how to pair it, how to change the elevation of windage on the laser. It comes in red, green, and infrared, which infrared would be dope. I have the night vision. That'd be really cool. So I'm going to get that. Hint, hint, Mantis, send that to me. Oh, I think my light just burned out. Yeah, my bulb just went out on this for some reason. So, sorry about that. The lighting just got a lot darker out of nowhere. We'll just roll on. So, what's cool is now that I have two mags and the bolts interchanged, I can just use the same, and it just randomly came up. I can use the same bolt in, so you can see I've got the bolt in there now, just like this one, red, gun is safe you can't fire it because there's no actual bolt or firing pin or anything in there so um you know you're good to go there you have your magazine don't put it in backwards like i almost just did you can hear that sound right no you're not gonna pull the trigger with your thumb but so works the same way as before um but what's cool is now that you have two mags you can do practice mag changes while you're doing drills with Mantis uh, Blackbeard as well, which is cool. So I could start with this one, do, you know, five, one or one or five shots, reload, put that one in, works the same, reload. You know, so I could also practice reloads now um, with the full size mag and a 20 round mag. And you, again, you get the Mantis X feedback uh, from, the, from the X10 that's built into the magazine. So very cool, definitely worthwhile upgrade. If you have an original Mantis X, I'm not sure if they're going to be selling the, the magazines by themselves. I hope they do. That way, because you don't, you can probably save some money and not have to buy a new bolt. Because this, like, I'm not even using the bolt it came with because it's our, I already had one in my gun. So, <clears throat> works great. Again, this is my favorite way of dry firing the AR 15. You can work on target transitions. You actually get the trigger pulls. Um, obviously, no recoil, which, you know, no real dry fire system is going to have recoil. That's just not realistic. Um, even if it tries to simulate it, it's never going to actually be the same as the gun. So um, still recommend obviously going out, getting drills in live fire. But 
You can do a lot of dry fire at home. Uh, I especially like to dry fire a lot in the wintertime because sometimes it's snowing outside and I'm not going to go shooting in the snow. <laughs> you can, and I have, but not always. It's cold, and I'm not a huge cold weather guy. So, um, but anyway, good time to dry fire. Anytime is a good time to dry fire. I probably dry fire this guy. This is literally my dry fire rifle. I have it set up. It's a 300 blackout. Um, but I literally leave the man, the Blackbeard in it all the time. And then I'll just be in my office and I'll, I have a couple targets up on the wall and I'll do some drills real quick. So I'm always kind of always dry firing. So again, I can't wait for them to figure out some sort of laser system that works with this on a pistol. Um, that's going to be game changing. Um, I know dry fire mag is working on something still not released. Maybe there's some bugs. I don't know. That would be awesome to have the trigger reset on a pistol as well as have the laser and the, and the feedback, that would be the ultimate dry fire for a handgun. So hopefully Mantis has got something in the works there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and we will see you on the next one.